welcome to Rust. Um, today I'm going to be recording a quick start guide that will hopefully uh, gently introduce new players into some of the more basic concepts um, of base building um, and general survival. Um, hopefully a little bit of orienteering as well because uh, we'll have to find a suitable place to build our base. Um, we're on the friend not foe PVE server so our biggest danger is starvation, bears and wolves. Um, we've spawned quite close to a big settlement um, which we're going to avoid for now and um, I think I can see the top of the satellite dishes so when you start off you'll want to find some sort of high ground and you'll be wanting to look for the major landmarks and uh, the monuments so things like the sphere, satellite dishes, airfield any warehouses that are on the map or the power station um, and you want to sort of try and find your way around based on their locations and obviously any interesting buildings that you find will help you um, get around uh, any landmarks at all actually even if it's snow-capped mountains uh, just anything to guide you back to a particular point So to stave off the starvation I'm going to be picking up as much food as I can early on um, and I also need to make some clothes uh, just because it's never good to uh, introduce yourself to other players uh, naked. I mean it's not the end of the world but uh, just, just like in real life it's not normal. <laughs> So some more mushrooms here. The hell's all that noise? I thought that was a dog then, it's a deer. So I think I just saw somebody running down the road. I'm going to avoid them for now. just saw a bear on top of that rock so we're going to uh, head this direction. Uh, I'm not so fussed about meeting up with people on the server um, as I say it's PVE so it's players versus, versus the environment so I think we'd be pretty unlucky to find a, uh, a player that's not playing by those rules. some more hemp over here. So to begin with we're going to need some hemp, some stone and a lot of wood, a hell of a lot of wood. So we've got a lot of buildings over here. So this is quite a built up part of the map. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Especially if at some point you might want to trade materials for uh, more advanced items, such as code locks. So you'll find a lot of bits and pieces in the long grass here. Uh, it's definitely worth zigzagging around to try and find these bits and pieces. I 
And while we seem to be in a fairly safe area, I am going to just quickly make myself a burlap shirt and burlap trousers. So these are things that you'd be able to make immediately on the server without finding blueprints. Okay, as you can see on the uh, right there, we're starving. So let's just quickly eat a chocolate bar or a granola bar. Let's also, if we can, make a tool. No. What do we need? So we want to make a stone hatchet. We need more wood. Okay, once we've got that we'll be able to get through the uh, the wood harvesting a lot quicker. Um, let's just wander this, this way a bit. Um, I'm happy that we found a landmark so quickly, but it's quite crowded around here. Let's... Um, is that a boar? Is that a boar or a bear? a boar. I want that. Come on. No. Do not run away from me. Seriously? Right, I've got some strange echo going on here, but um, I'll try and fix that later. Okay, at some point later we're going to need to build a furnace and to do that we need wood, stone and low grade oil, low grade fuel. So let's start by uh, making some here and also we're going to need 
some more wood. God. There is no wood on this side of the water. So back we go. Is that a deer or a dog? It's a deer. Okay. I'm just going to very quickly try and find out what the issue is with my uh, recording software. So, because this is PVE, people are uh, a lot more cooperative, and it looks like Jong is actually giving away a whole load of stone. Obviously, I can't take that right now, but you could if you uh, saw a message saying uh, offering materials. Obviously, you can't trust anybody in game, so you'd be taking a risk by meeting up with somebody that you don't know. Uh, trust really does need to be built in this game, you can't just assume it. Not so much on a PvE server, but um, definitely when you're out playing on um, PvP. The number of times I see people ask for food, get an offer, and then they're killed when they go to get it. It's far too often. Okay, there's another landmark. That is the sphere, or the dome. If you hear somebody talking about the sphere or the dome, that's the same thing. Okay, and now we can make our building plan. Okay, we're starving again, so let's get some mushrooms inside us. Could build somewhere around here a nice 
lakeside apartment. There's already quite a few I see and uh, some other buildings actually in the lake. So we've got some houses that look like they've um, they've either been raided or have decayed. Uh, given that foundations are still here, I'm well. I'm inclined to say that it's decayed, but once again, never assume that. Right, that was a wolf. We do not want to be near wolves. Not right now. Okay, we're going to be building a basic house, uh, two by two, with um, several stories. Uh, undecided number of stories yet, but um, it will be basic and small. But hopefully, hopefully, um, will suit uh, new players' needs. Um, and we'll give you something to. Uh, get started. God there's a lot of buildings around here. Let's uh oh there's a sleeper. Let's start here. excessive amount of stairs but it doesn't really matter. Um, doorway and some walls. We also need to make a front door. It's pretty important. And this level really is only going to be used for um, getting in and out of the uh, the building. So let's partition it off a little bit and add some stairways. So there's some shots in the background and I see somebody on the beach there. Okay, so that's uh, a good starting point. We don't need to build any more than this just yet. Um, let's get this front door on. And you want that opening inwards. There you go, you've got the beginnings of a small base. Just so we can look around, let's just uh, finish off this floor. Mm. 
And there we go. It's a good start, I think. Okay, well, anyway, I hope that's enough for you to get started with. Um, basically, you're looking for a load of wood, uh, some stone, if you can find it, and uh, harvest any animals that you come across, because you'll be needing the animal fat and, uh, obviously, try and get some cloth for clothing. Um, once you have all those things, you can start building. Um, I'm just going to start making a sleeping bag. Uh, you'll want to make a sleeping bag early on. So that you have somewhere to respawn if you die. And keep a watch on your uh, starvation. So, as you can see there, I was starving again. Need to find some more food at some point soon. Let's get this sleeping bag down and we'll call that a day. So there you go. I hope that's been useful. Um, I'll be continuing to build this place out. Uh, you'll be able to follow the videos uh, pretty much um, in order and uh, at the end of it you'll have a reasonable, if not perfect, place for you to live. Thanks for watching. Bye.